Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Cross Watchers as well. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, there's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Let's go into these cards first. Okay, so <clears throat> we have the Page of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. So, <laughs> wow. These DMs have been going through a really shit time just now. This, you know, is like my insomnia card. Um, All up in their head, sleepless nights, lots of regrets, just probably feeling really guilty. Um just kind of in turmoil, you know, um, really just, they might even be having nightmares, that type of thing, feeling a lot of regret and guilt and very restless I'm getting. Um, so already we have quite a lot of air energy, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we also have fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but the fact that we have two pages here as well, um, you definitely could be dealing with, <coughs> I'm so sorry, my throat, as I told you, has gone crazy, throat chakra, you definitely could be dealing with a younger divine masculine here, um, or they're just in a, quite an immature energy or just you know they're not like in their king or emperor energy or anything so far in the reading feeling yeah just kind of a bit I just get a younger energy but they could just be a little bit like emotionally immature or something but you know page of swords as well is the spying card you know like spying on your social media and things um keeping a close check on what you're up to however they can you know just looking up your social media if they can if they're not blocked or anything or creating fake accounts to have a look or getting their friends to have a look and like report back to them or you know going kind of into your work maybe or something to have a look for you or places they know you go to or like driving by your house that type of thing if they can if you're close enough and things um but if you check my last reading that card came up that they're keeping a close eye on your social media so it's quite interesting that we do have the page of swords here but page of swords page of wands <clears throat> they're wanting to come in with a message. They're wanting to like travel towards you with a message. So that could be physically um, or, you know, in person, or it could be a text, a phone call, whatever, however you communicate. Um, but they're wanting to speak some truth here. And you know, it's quite a fiery sort of sexual energy as well. But um, yeah, I just feel like, as well, if you look at the the wand here, the like staff that, that this page has got, um, you know, he's in the desert, but he does have, you know, these leaves like growing here. And I just feel like even in this kind of hopeless sort of desert situation, you know, there's life, there's, there's, you know, growth happening. It's like the situation between you guys, even though it feels quite, it could feel quite hopeless right now, there's like so much potential, you know, it just shows like how much can kind of persevere through tough times, if you know what I mean. So they're, they're definitely wanting to come in with a message. And 
I really feel, we'll see what other cards we get, but I, I just really feel like it's an apology of some sort. Or so, like an explanation of where the hell we've been or what they've been up to, like what's been going on around them to kind of give them this energy. Oh, you know, a lot of it is they just kind of feel guilty and things like that. A lot of regret for how they've been in the past, but there's also kind of karmic situations going on around them, I'm feeling. But the good news is, this is also a nine card, so they're coming out of this cycle. So, and coming in with like a sort of new start here. Let's see what else we get. Justice. Oh yes, and the six of swords, more sword energy. So you definitely could be dealing with an air sign, or you yourself could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and and even like in the justice, you know, they're holding their sword. Um, and. You know, if you're not one of those signs or you're not dealing with someone of an air sign, it's definitely, there's a lot of energy of someone being all up in their heads, like this picture. Very logical. Like, yeah, just, just all up in their heads, not thinking with their heart so much. We actually have no cups energy here right now, but justice is coming in for this situation to move it forward and 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 give you know like divine justice in areas where you may have been mistreated you know um by by the dm or you know you, the dfs obviously uh can do things that aren't the the best towards the DM as well. You know, it's just divine kind of, uh, there's, there's gonna be, if you see the scales here as well, a balance of the situation. So it could also be that maybe one of you was giving too much energy towards the other person before. You know, there could have been an imbalance with emotions and, effort that was going into the connection well that justice has come in to to move things to karma waters you know to move away from this like the choppy kind of um maybe like combative energy of the past into karma waters and you you could be living at a distance you could be across water from each other and they're wanting to like come towards you and, and come towards you with the page energy as well, but come towards you, uh, or you could be going towards them. Um, but I just always feel as well with, you know, like the person and the little kid in the boat as well. Like, I feel like the, the DMs are being very protective of the DFs at the moment, believe it or not. So, it's like they're wanting to move the DFs away from. I'm just getting conflict from some re for some reason, like wanting to protect them from protect you guys from something. So it could even be that they're they're not communicating very much with you right now, or at all, or or you're just you know not seeing them that much or something. Um, they're just at a distance right now because I'm just picking up there's something they want to protect you from at the moment and it could be other people like, interfering in the connection or just some sort of toxic energy they've got going on around them right now you know it's like they, they want to 
protect you from that and also move you away from that. It's really strange. It's just, yeah, I don't know why I'm getting that, but let me know if that resonates with you guys. But yeah, it's really strange. And just with justice as well, it's like, like I just, I just feel even more so like someone ruling over this, like protecting the situation, protecting, protecting the DFs from something. Um, also, I don't know your DMs um, if they're currently married right now. This could be some sort of. They could be going through a divorce and there's going to be justice in that situation. Maybe that's the conflict they've kind of been wanting to keep you away from, you know, just protect you from that atmosphere. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to get a little bit, a couple more cards for this and then we're going to see what the DMs are not saying that they want to say. We're going to get some eternal messages for that. They just could be, you know, it doesn't have to be a divorce, by the way. It could be some sort of court situation. Actually, I'm just feeling, just even something to do, just with the, I'm just drawn to like the, the child in that boat there. Could be something to do with like child like custody going on right now. Yeah. I'm gonna get mm, a couple more cards, but and then we'll go into this, but Clarifier for the Seven of Cups, actually. <laughs> okay, so bottom of the deck energy is the Hanged Man. So They've definitely been in this energy of limbo, feeling stuck, not sure what to do, just kind of, yeah, just, uh, actually, sorry, that, is that in the reverse? I only really do, oh, it is. I only really do reversals if I'm really guided to. I actually didn't notice that. Um, it's actually the hanged man in reverse. So I was going to say they're coming out of that anyway, because they are. <laughs> like Because we've got the ace of wands here. So I was just about to say, that's, that's just further confirmation, but they're coming out of that stuckness because we've got like a new beginning here, the ace of wands. So a new start, a complete reset here. Um, the wand energy, it, it's very passionate, as I said, uh, at the beginning of the reading here, but also in my, if you haven't looked at my Tarot of Sexual Magic reading, there's, uh, there's just been a huge amount of passion and attraction between the DMs and DFs lately, but yeah, the, the wand is, um, it's meant to basically be like, it's kind of like the dick card, <laughs> very like phallic symbol. You know, they're really wanting to like come in here and give it to you <laughs> because they're holding on very tightly to the connection right now. They have you held over their heart, you know, right now. Um, so you could also be dealing with an earth sign. You could be an earth sign, um, but they're very, they're holding on tightly to you, um, but I also feel like they're they're very 
focused on money right now. I've been getting that for a while, but just holding on to like what they've got, holding on to their possessions. If, you know, if you're dealing with someone who is actually going through a divorce right now, that could also be that they're a little bit worried of losing money through that. But um, they are holding on tightly to this connection. And we've got the Ten of Cups here, wanting the Ten of Cups with you. So this happy family, you know, um, they could want to make arrangements to live with you. They could be thinking of that, thinking of having kids. It's like they want like, you know, 2.4 family, white picket fence, all that kind of thing. That is what they want with you because we've also got the, the Seven of Cups here. And that that was like their their past energy feeling just kind of discontent, <sighs> regretful. I mean, they might have had a lot of choices between people in the past and they've chosen wrongly. And they're just looking at, I feel like they're sort of thinking about the choices they've made in the past and just full of regret about that and they're like oh my god what have I done you know because a lot yeah a lot of them just know that they've made wrong choices and they just really regret it is what I'm getting and that's why they're wanting this new start with you and the ten of cups you know my god um yeah so Coming out of the hangman energy and wanting to literally move move this situation forward. There's going to be justice in this situation. So guys, like, I know a lot of DFs are feeling frustrated, but, you know, there's a rainbow at the end of this situation. Um, maybe with, like, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow but it's they're going to be coming in soon I just really feel like communication is coming in soon and they're they're wanting to speak I really feel like that so obviously that's not going to be for for everyone right now but I feel like for a lot of people in the connect the collective um there is going to be communication so we're going to get a few cards to see you know what what the the dms like are thinking what they want to say that's not being said right now Wow, these are actually <laughs> being really hard to shuffle. It's like a really choppy energy. Maybe that's all it wants to come out. Hmm, okay. Okay, one more, right. I knew it! I Oh my god! I was like, if we get this card coming out in eternal messages, what did I say about them spying on your social media? This was the last one that wanted to jump out. I keep a close eye on your social media. I told you guys, like, they, they're really, really keeping track of what you're doing because they miss you, you know? And they want to see what you're up to and they think you're fucking beautiful. <laughs> they're, they're wanting to check no one else is like around you right now. And because they're because they're not speaking, you know, a lot of them, and because they really want to, but they're just so up in their head with all their, you know, emotions and 
just having a lot of shit going on right now. They're they're not able to speak a lot of them. So that's like the best the next best thing they can do is just kind of like look at what you're up to and like miss you. It's just so sad. Yeah. I've been feeling your presence around me. So obviously, you know, the DMs and DFs are, are so connected, you know, you are one soul, so you're missing them and they're missing you and you know they, they just can feel that you know yeah I'm not blind to the signs I do see them so they're seeing a lot of you know like synchronicities and angel numbers and and things that remind them of you and it's just it's making them kind of realise like how strong these connections are and making them miss you more. And then we've got, I don't want to hide this connection anymore. So like I say, you know, a lot of them had kind of been protecting you in some way by like hiding this connection. You know, there could be a lot of people around, I don't know if it's like friends, family, just even people on social media or something that would not really be happy with this connection for some reason or jealous or, you know, they could be protecting you from like some karmic partners they've had in the past or something like that. Um, and they, they had been hiding it, um, but they don't want to anymore. Um, they want this Ten of Cups with you. I've been seeing this Ten of Cups a lot, actually. They're they're just tired of being in this stuck hanged man situation. Um, so yeah, they're wanting to be open and, and move this situation like way forward than it has been in the past. So I'm actually, I wasn't going to do this, but I'm, I'm going to get a couple of angel guidance cards as well, just to finish the reading. Bottom of the deck is reconciliation, by the way. So these, a lot of these DMs are, are coming back. They are on their way with communication. I really do feel that. No, no, my soulmate cards. I mean, guys, look, they know. They're really starting to kind of, <laughs> it's like they're waking up as well during the night, like waking up to, to these connections and like what twin flames are and things like that. And they know like, how close, you know, your soul bond is. They know, like, you're their person, you know. Attraction, I told you guys, and they're staring at your social media and things. They are just so attracted to you and just think you're, you know, like a goddess I'm just picking up. And, and that's why, they're, you know, it's drawing them in more. It's like, they just really feel like they have to get a move on with communication or they, they might lose out and, and miss you altogether, is what I'm feeling. <gasps> Wedding, yeah. So, I mean, again, with like the Ten of Cups as well. This is what a lot of them desire with you. This happy families, marriage, kids, you know, if that resonates in your situation. Um, you know, this could be them actually coming in and proposing to you, especially if they are in some sort of, you know, I was saying if they're getting divorced and like going through divorce proceedings and justice is coming in. I, I've been feeling for a while that a lot of those DMs, um, are trying to get out of that situation like as quickly as they can because they actually want to marry you. But yeah, there's a lot of DMs are wanting to actually propose to their DFs. And it's so strange. I just feel like that that could 
come completely out of the blue in your situation. Like it might feel like, oh no, that that would be ridiculous or like too soon, you know, they just come back and like propose. But I just feel like there's such a passionate energy, you know, ace of wands and attraction and everything that it, it's like they realize that they've wasted so much time already that they really might just come in and propose and want to get married to you. Or, you know, if marriage isn't like your thing, um, just some kind of higher form of commitment with you. Um, yeah, something to you just, it could even, you know, just be living together. I could say with the house here. Uh, but yeah, wanting, wanting everyone to know, like, you know, with that, I don't want to hide this connection anymore. Wanting anyone, um, everyone to know, like, you're theirs, you're their person, you're their, their soulmate, their twin flame. Um, and yeah, just have it out in the open now. So, wow. Um, I think we're going to leave the reading there, but wow, that's like, a, I feel like a really powerful reading. Um, I, I hope this helped um, everyone who was watching. Um, if it resonated with you, let me know. Um, I'm so loving the comments people have been leaving. It's really nice to hear what's going on with yourselves and that the readings have helped.